Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Dash Brandon. Today we're looking at the Crescendo Sniper Rifle. Looks good. I really like the design of these weapons. But their functionality might be bad. Or they could be better. But the design is nice. They got that going for them. You'll see that I have this one specced for double impact, physical, double headshot damage. And then we have the new static perk that it gets. It's a piercing sniper rifle that can be charged up for extra damage. Stunning or knocking back an enemy with this weapon causes it and nearby enemies to dance for a short duration. Does not affect enemies that have been recently been dancing. Dance does not affect miss monsters or bosses. So we went for headshot damage so we could do the most damage we can and hopefully that impact will help. Because um, we're going to be mostly shooting husky husks here and, you know, riot shielders, things of that nature. Um, I do need to change it to energy so that we can have it work with our build more better. Um, but that's why we went with the double impact here. is because stunning or knocking back an enemy is what does this. Does this effect of making them dance. So we have to hit them hard enough to do that. We will look at the other perks you can get. You can get up to 60% impact on both of these, so you could do quite a bit more. Uh, you can do damage durability or stability on your first slot, damage magazine size or reload on your second slot. It can be any element that you wish. Headshot damage, damage, stability, crit rating, and headshot damage, crit rating, crit damage, damage, or stability on your last slot. Um, I'm surprised that they didn't have the damage to dancing enemies on this one. It is what it is. Uh, we have 300% crit damage right now. That is modified by our hero build. And we have a 15% critical hit chance right now. So, let's see what that looks like. And we do 161,000 headshot damage. Which sounds pretty good. We're going to look at our hero build as we get ready to load into a mission. I'm doing another one that I need for rain. It's the same night. Don't tell anybody. Alright, so our hero build is the ugly Rabbit Raider Jonesy. I, I'm glad that they don't come out with a lot of sniper rifles because I can't stand looking at this guy. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> Alright, we have preemptive strike, so we hit harder on things that don't have any damage on them. And that will help with the AoE from Plasma Arc as well. I believe those stack together and they do more damage. We have Waste Not, Want Not to increase our magazine size. We have Make It Rain for headshot damage by 4% for 2 seconds. I'm going to be honest, I haven't actually used this weapon. This is more of a hot take video. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we're going to get the hot take on if we can charge up and land headshots within two seconds so that we can get that extra 20% damage. We have sniper rifle damage from Redline Ramirez. We have locked and reloaded, so after we reload, then we can do lots and lots of damage. It's actually 15% extra damage, but it is what it is. Our gadgets don't matter. This is a hero build and weapon build. Let's go build some towers. Hopefully people show up and I don't have to just leave the mission so we can wrap things up. Anyways. <sighs> yeah. It's been an emotional day for Save the World, hasn't it? Endurance got boned. Uh, Twine Peaks rewards weren't fixed. People have to play Hit the Road if they want the new trap. Which I don't care because I like Hit the Road. I didn't notice on... The last video I recorded, if my performance was any different, I did tweak some settings on my computer. Not graphic settings, but pretty much everything else. Oh, that's cool. When you, when you hold it and charge. When you hold it and charge, it takes five rounds. That means that if we didn't have the magazine increase, you have to reload after every shot. The further we travel from
on the storm shield, the worse the visibility That's kind of rough. But I have a solution. I have a solution. Build your 5,000th radar. You can build any three towers you want. I wonder how many I have built. Alright, we're going to go shoot this guy over here. One, he's far away. Now that I think about this, this build is not going to work all that well with this sniper rifle because of the whole having to charge up things thing. Okay, so killing it apparently does not count for that whole knocking it down thing. Now we know that. Oh, but the, the pierce is nice. I do like that. I, I really don't like that they can still chase you. What I want to hit is big boy over here. There we go. I don't know what the reset on dancing is yet. I haven't noticed. Now we're going to see how hard we can just hit this guy. River stops. <laughs> is that a million damage? I think that was a million damage. I'm pretty... I haven't I haven't played a sniper rifle in a long time. Here we go. A sniper Here rifle build. Do. So that really surprised me. Nope. But if you can get a million damage that pierces several things, that could be pretty good. That could be really good. There it is. I know that there was a smasher somewhere around here. Probably right up here. Oh. Oh, there's other things right here. Okay, so we did make him drop it. Now I want to see if he still throws it. Because I heard reports that they'd still throw when you do that with the trap. It doesn't look like he does that. So that's pretty cool. You could just shoot at husky husks or exploders from the safety of like the flank of your tunnel make them dance and then they drop their their propanes and then everything is safe wow that could be really good i kind of like this new sniper rifle gonna get loud. i also like the charging up thing it's it's kind of clunky and i wish it would charge faster but i like it so now we're actually going to help our teammates build these uh radars Hey, it's Atticus J. Finch. I'm pretty sure I've played with him before. Don't don't worry, I'm coming. Now don't get it wrong, it's not an X-ray rifle. Uh... Oh. Hey. When you make oh. So when you make a Shield bro dance. Oh. When you make a shield bro dance, they no longer use their shield. However, they still have access to it when they stop dancing. That's good information. That's some really good information. One tower done. I'm glad that guy was there so that he could distract him so we could do tests for science. <laughs> Six hundred and sixty-two. Four seventy. How much is like a single round? Four thirty-seven. Four thirty-seven to five hundred and three thousand. Without charging. Don't worry, bro. I got you. Unless you're doing that. He might be doing that. This is a really good weapon for helping survivors, by the way. I thought that was going to be the shout. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> I love these weapons on survivors. That's definitely their niche. I just wish I had a bigger magazine. It's really all I wish. I wonder if they hadn't noticed all the dancing. He had to have. It was so obvious. So if you straight up kill something, it doesn't work though. So it's actually better to not charge up your shots, get the stagger, and then you don't have to worry about it. You have time to keep building. All right, here we go. One, almost 1.1 million. I just wish that you could activate the, I wish you could activate the, um, okay. I wish you could activate the dancing off of a miss monster, but not necessarily make them dance. Like you can shoot the miss monster and therefore CC everything around it. That'd be really good. It'd be too good. Just probably why we don't have it. Oh no! Right in the face. 1.1 million damage. And this isn't even like... This isn't even Old Betsy. Old Betsy... Old Betsy does insane damage. Yeah. I like this weapon. It's good. Oh, we just killed him. And I think it, the weapon is playing music, which is also interesting. Oh no. There we go. Didn't even aim, we just no-scoped him. <laughs> yeah, I like this weapon. If you're in the sniper rifles, or you want to be able to CC things, I think that this weapon will work out great for you. You don't need to use this hero loadout to make it effective. I got you. Maybe. Here we go. I did get it. I got it. <laughs> I think he's letting me do the rest, which is fine. So I haven't helped on as many as I could have. Oh! We have company! Oh wow, we just hit him with like a little basic attack there. Not even charging it and he started dancing. So apparently you can CC a regular husk pretty damn easily. We've got a little time left. Why don't we end the video? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are we gonna do the storm chest? We're gonna go do the storm chest. Oh! I guess says he's out of wood. So we're gonna hook him up with some wood. Nope. Maybe. He comes over here. Okay, he doesn't want my wood. I was trying to give him my wood. <laughs> he 
He said but thank you. I said okay, no problem. Why is he looking at me? Yeah, I'm here for your SC, and I'm trying to chew on my finger and not let people notice it. Alright. We're gonna do the the meta here. I didn't I didn't test if we can get through a shield. That would be good knowledge to have. I guess we can shout for them. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Alexander. We can shoot through the shield, but it still reduces the damage. Quite a bit, it seems. So, there's that. I think that's everything that I can think of off the top of my head to test. Tested on shielders. We tested on shield bros. We tested on... Um, propanes. Tested on smashers, seeing how hard we could hit them. Had I hit them in the head the second time, it would have been a two-shot kill, I think. But maybe it still would have been three. <laughs> that is amusing. Even if it's slightly not what I expected it to be. Still amusing. And by slightly not what I expected it to be, I just thought that the dancing husks would dance in place for some reason. Um, I didn't think that they would keep moving and dancing. But that's on me for my assumption of how I thought it would work. So yeah. That's that. Oh. I messed up. Uh, so you gotta body shot something to to make it dance if it's just a regular husk. That's what we're seeing here. Oh, another SC. Okay, I'm in for another one. Maybe we'll find out something interesting about the weapon. I do like that it plays music. At least it seems to play music. Should we try and one shot a blaster again? That was pretty satisfying. I only have one. Oh, here we go. Not a headshot. Not any shot. Really? Wow! I'm awful at this game. We're just gonna try and CC some stuff. There we go. Someone's really enjoying their boombo over here. I can get behind that. Alright, there we go again. Another storm chest down. And now we gotta decide what we're gonna drop. I guess we'll drop some, some nuts and bolts. <laughs> he was waiting to see what I was going to drop, wasn't he? That's kind of funny. He's got a cool looking pickaxe. But ours is cooler. Five hundred K on an elemental husk with an energy weapon isn't terrible. I mean, we just one-shot that elemental 
Chowski. I do like sniper rifles of Pierce. I gotta say that. That's nice to have. Uh, I wasn't close enough. And when they're dancing, the headshots are relatively easy to land. Not possible. We've burned through a little over 150 ammo since we started this video. So it's not terrible. I think I can give this a recommend if you want a different way to deal with propanes. Or if you want to try and deal with propanes before they get to tunnels and throw. Or if you just want to have some fun. I think I can recommend this one. Uh, we'll go over our build here one more time. We're using Rabbit Raider Jonesy. We have Waste Not Want Not. Make It Rain. Which could be possible to use, but you won't be able to do it with charging up shots. So you'd have to do make it rain and be rapid firing the weapon as fast as you can. Uh, quick scope, locked and reloaded, and plasma arc. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm Dash Brandon. My epic creator code is on the screen right next to my head right now. As I get attacked by this asshole, I will catch you next time, hopefully, and you will also hopefully like and subscribe, comment, and tell me what you think of the weapon, if you've tried it, or if you think that we can improve our sniper rifle loadout in some way. I missed everything there. How do you miss everything with something that pierces? Don't worry, bro. I got you. I'll make them all dance. The dance cooldown actually seems not that long, which is good. Like, you can make them dance relatively quickly after they've already been dancing. It's like a two or three second cooldown, it seems. I'll catch you guys next time. I'm going to stop talking now. Dash Brandon. Bye-bye.